Bueno, hola, hello, and Ayiancho y Mainaya. I am not sure which language I'm going to use. Rosalba, maybe Spanish, English, let me know, please. I'm trying in English, all right? Um, hope, hopefully, it will be good for you. Um, my name is Marco. I am with a great team here from the Uni UCAL University. We are almost two tables, uh, and, we are, uh, and we are here for an amazing project um, that I would like to share with you. So how, and, and a history of how we are dealing with an open innovation platform. Um, but before that, of course, uh, hopefully you had lunch. So uh, we know that Peru is one of the world's top gastronomy countries, and we are very proud of that, right? Uh, but also, um, we are, uh, oops, let's see, it's very fast, okay? So, um, but also, we have this uh, childhood obesity in Peru is rising faster, and Peruvians, half of Peruvians, are overweighted. And talking about childhood, three from 10, from 10 kids are also overweighted. So it's kind of paradox that we are, we are having in Peru. Uh, we also are very balanced by gender, but demographically, right? We are 50, almost 50 50. But we know also that women suffer more violence than men when we are talking about physical and psychological violence. Uh, seven from 10 women suffer violence from, in Peru. So, and we also know that Peruvians have more access to products than before. But now, we also know that we leave plastic on the floor as we walk. And we see some of these uh, places, with, with these scenes in some places in Lima. So, as Renzo said from, from Resi, uh, 3% of population just, they just recycle 3% of, of people. So these are some of the challenges, of kind of the challenges that our university is concerned. Uh, how might we improve healthy food access for school kids? Or how might we protect women from potential violence? Or how might we promote better recycling practice for consumers? So we think uh, we have real, real and relevant problems that we need to focus on. I mean, it's okay to create some, f some uh, products or solutions for, for uh, maybe uh, for the market, but also we have some other uh, problems in, inside Peru, right? Not only Lima, but also some other cities. And of course they are, you can see they are very related to some of the uh, SDGs, right? So. This is the question, so how or what can we do from the academy, from, from UCAL or from the universities in, in Peru? So we created this program called UCAL Tech Challenge. You have seen these guys here talking about their solutions. So imagine this formula, and I, I was doing this uh, presentation, I just noticed that it's ABCD. And this, a student from architecture, a student from uh, business, a student from communication, a student from design. So we have this ABCD formula. But there is something missing here. Can you tell? What is ABCD and E from engineering? And we don't have that in UCAL University. But we don't have to have it. We can, I mean, we will, I hope. But, uh, but since we don't have it now, we open the university for another university student to join the team for the next year. So next year, hopefully, we will, we will have a team here like they have been presenting today, uh, along with another engineering student from another university. It will be great. So this this, imagine this team of students guided by a professor receiving a challenge from an institution like a company uh, interested in some of those kind of challenges or problems or some others, relevant problems, and going through a, pro a creative process like exploring, and conceptualize, ideate, develop, testing, and of course, inspired by Texuyo in Lima, 2020, right? Hopefully, yes, we will. And also, Imagine this uh, 
teams men with mentors, from tech mentors, like we did with, with the Resi team um, from, from Peru SV, and also soft skill mentors, field mentors, ethical mentors. We are dealing with a lot of corruption in Peru. Um, so these guys are going to create a company. They have to know about po privacy politics, about corruption, about because they are going to uh, confront that. So imagine also that when they are dealing with this project, they can connect to another team from a university in the US and also a university, a student from a university like Ayacucho at the same time working at the same challenge, different context, but exchanging different point of views. That will be amazing. And of course, also having a school kids, uh, STEAM driven schools joining the team for, come on, maybe with syllabus, let's make it, let's make it happen. Um, and they can also co-create some solutions. And also, of course, an MVP started company that is here uh, as an ally that is helping the students to create their prototype, their, their solution. And then, thank you to, thanks for United for bringing us here, actually, uh, because our ideas have to fly high, but also land at time, right? So uh, we are here, and it's an incredible journey here for the students and the teachers, professors, directors here. Um, and we are doing this immersion program here at Silicon Valley. It's four days, very, very full of interviews and meetings, and it's been amazing for them. So if we can do that, we can also be here next year. Another team, not only four, but 40 or, four, or 400 people from not only UCAL, but also some other universities. We're very open to that um, here in Texuyo. So not only ideas, as they said, but also real solutions which that we can bring. And as someone said that from Peru SV, innovation is proven by doing. So I invite you all to do, with, to do it together. Thank you very much. <laughs>